I'm going to show you how to make 20k per month as an affiliate marketer easily, simply, without wasting much time, without doing organic stuff by setting up simple TikTok ads that you can check in once or twice a week, make sure they're running properly and sleep easy at night. Okay, $20,000 a month. And just to show you I know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you a screenshot here of my own account where I've made about thirty dollars to $35,000 a month just from May up until the end of September at the time of this video. Right now it's October 6th and that's about what, five months, four or five months, something like that. And it's super, super simple. Right now, if you're not advertising on TikTok, if you're not spending money to get your affiliate offers out there on TikTok, you're missing a huge opportunity. TikTok ads, to put it simply, are super, super cheap right now and super, super easy. TikTok ads right now is how Facebook ads used to be back in 2015, 16, when everybody was jumping on the Facebook ads bandwagon. Everybody seemed like they were just making money falling out of the sky and it was super simple. Right now, that's how TikTok ads are. So don't miss this opportunity. And I'm gonna show you how to set up your TikTok ad account, exactly how to set up your affiliate offer, exactly how to set up your ads right here in this video. I'm the infamous Joel and your boss hates me because I show you how to live a life for freedom, passion, and fulfillment. And if you're infamous too, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now let's go. Now the first thing I wanna do for you here is show you inside of my Stripe account and you can actually see the dates right here from May 1st to September 30th and my, my math is not always the best that's one two three four five about five months yeah I was right the first time okay so in five months I already crossed six figures now I want to make sure that uh, now this is like the third or fourth offer now that I've scaled to six figures okay this is for the affiliate franchise but I can tell you after repeatedly scaling an offer to six figures for the last four years now over and over again I can tell you look I don't have a, a doctorate, I don't have a bachelor's degree, I'm not special, I didn't go to school, I, I barely know how to read, okay? <laughs> All there is about me is I spent seven years in prison, I came home and then I dedicated myself to learning how to do digital marketing, how to do affiliate marketing, I made no excuses and now here I am. I can just set up some ads just like I'm about to show you and have them run and make money in the background while I go around the world and you know hang out with my family and do a bunch of fun stuff that's what life should really be about life should not be about pounding away at a time clock and making somebody else rich I'm sorry I can't get behind that idea okay it just it's crazy to me so then just to show you this is real this isn't like some weird fake screenshot or anything I can just refresh this and you can see it reverted back to 300 because that's what I've made in the last week or so. I haven't really been doing much. And we can change the dates back here to May 1st up to September 30th. You can see the dates reset it right back. You can see the different months, 35, 19, 21, 22. You can see I know what I'm talking about, okay? You can make easily anywhere from fifteen dollars to $20,000 a month, depending on how much you spend, depending on how much time and effort you put into it. But realistically, if you just set up your ad account and check in on it once or twice a week, just make sure that everything is optimized, everything is, is scaling and you're running things properly, you can legit do this even as a beginner and at least be making five to 10K. I don't know what your ad spend is, I don't know what your budget is, but at a minimum five to 10K, and those of you who really put the time in and really get good at this stuff, 20 to 25K is super, super simple, it's in your future. Just put the time and effort in, and if you're a beginner, watch the rest of this video because I'm gonna take you step by step, setting up your TikTok ad account, showing you how to do your actual ads, showing you what I think the best offers for this kind of stuff is, and how to make the commissions just as an affiliate. You don't even have to have your own products for this, okay? Now let's go. Now the first thing I want you to do is you're gonna come over here to ads.tiktok.com. Now there are different types of TikTok ads. That's right. There's a, there's different types of TikTok ads, and I don't want you to get super confused. Right now, I'm running my ads through what's called a business account. So I'm at business.tiktok.com. It's a little different, okay? I want you to stay away from that for now since you're a beginner. The reason that I use a business account versus a normal, regular, personal ad account is because I have a team. Right now, I'm at the place where 
I have people running my ads for me, which is just another level, right? And we actually show you how to build a team. We actually train your team, put a team in place for you so that while you're at your job, while you're doing other busy things in your life, your affiliate marketing business is being done for you. That's the affiliate franchise. That's down in the description below. But that's a conversation for another time. You can book a call with my team. and We can walk you through exactly how we do that. But for the purposes of this video, just go to ads.tiktok.com and we're going to start a very simple personal ad account just to get things going, okay? And you're going to go on here and you're going to click create now. And it's going to take you to this page. Now, if you don't have an account yet, and more than likely you don't if you're watching this video, just set it up. Just walk through the steps right here. It's your typical sign up. I hope I don't have to show you how a sign up works, right? They're going to ask you for your name and your email and your phone number and your address maybe or something like that. And you're going to get your login, you're going to get your password, and you're going to get access to come in here. Okay, so let's skip that part and get to what the actual... Uh, ad manager the ad account looks like okay now mine looks like this because I've gone a few steps ahead but yours is probably gonna ask you if you want a simple view or you want like a custom I forget what the other option is like a custom view or something like that and it explains to you that a simple view makes your ad account your dashboard all this look a lot easier pick that one okay you don't need the whole custom uh, you know confusing one unless you're like a tech wizard and you've been you know through this kind of stuff before if you've run ads before and you're kind of like really good at it then by all means like customize it and make it all your own but I just I just picked the simple view because I'm a simple person okay I don't I don't do all the extracurricular stuff all right so once you pick the simple view the very first thing you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to set up your pixel okay so for those of you who don't know what a pixel is if you've never run facebook ads or really youtube ads use pixels too but if you've if you've never done that kind of thing you don't know what a pixel is all a pixel is is once someone visits your website or your sales funnel in this video we're going to use a sales funnel once someone visits that okay the pixel actually tracks that lead they actually track that lead they collect data from that lead that's right big brother is watching you okay so every website that you go to on the internet if you're logged into your TikTok account chances are you're probably being tracked now your data is being tracked your uh, things like your address your phone number your hobbies the websites you visit the things you like that is actually how TikTok is able to curate content for you that they know that you're gonna like maybe you're a dog person and you notice that on TikTok you get a lot of dog videos that's why because TikTok can tell by the websites you visit the the people you hang out with the you know whatever the forums you comment on or whatever kind of stuff is going on and also also by how the video the videos you watch right the length of the videos that you watch if you watch a video for a long time they know but that's another that's another conversation we can break that down later but for your ads to work properly you want to set up your pixel and let me show you how to do that now you're gonna go up here to assets and you're gonna go to events okay now once we're in events we're not gonna do app events we're gonna do web events so you go to manage and I have a pixel actually I have two pixels here set up but I'm gonna delete both of them Okay, I'm going to delete both of them just so I can show you how something like this would work. I'm going to delete both of them and start fresh. So here you go. This is what your screen probably looks like. It looks more like it's completely empty and it says create your pixel. Okay, so we're going to create the pixel and we're going to get things started. I'm going to call my franchise just to show you. And I'm going to connect this pixel to my affiliate franchise funnel, which you can actually see down below. You can actually take a look at how it looks like. But we're going to go TikTok pixel and, oh, or do we do events parameter? I haven't done this in a while. Bear with me. I think we do TikTok pixel. So let's go next. And I'm going to say automatically set up web events part. Nope. I'm going to do manually install pixel. The reason I do manually install pixel is because I'm personally going to use click funnels for this. Now, if you have another funnel builder, I know I've recommended system IO on this channel a bunch. I still recommend system IO. I think it's awesome. The only reason that I use ClickFunnels just for this particular funnel is because I like the way it looks. That's the only reason. Okay, ClickFunnels 
doesn't have the world's greatest software or anything like that, but I do like the way the funnels look. I think they're pretty, quote unquote, okay? So I use ClickFunnels specifically just for that funnel there, but I use System.io for a lot of my other stuff. Okay, so we're gonna hit next. And we're going to do, I believe it's Event Builder, okay? Event Builder here. And I'm gonna show you how easy this actually is, if I did this, if I did this right. Now the next thing we're gonna do is, I'm pretty sure I did this right, this looks familiar. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this, this pixel right here to the clipboard and I'm just going to now log into my ClickFunnels account. Bear with me here, all right, I'm in my ClickFunnels account. We're gonna go to the actual funnel. Now for you, whatever funnel you're using, right, you're an affiliate marketer, by now, you should have a funnel. If you don't, sign up for System.io or ClickFunnels or whatever freaking funnel software you want. Doesn't matter, okay? Down below, I have a link to sign up for System.io. Works just as well. They don't look as nice, okay, but it's functional. It works just fine. And that's actually a completely free account. You can, there's no excuse, okay? So go down below, down in the description, I have a link to sign up for System.io and it's completely free forever. It's not a free trial, it's just free, okay? So go ahead and do that. Um, now for those of you using ClickFunnels, you can follow along and it's, it's much, you know, it's side by side for you. You can actually see what it looks like. So inside ClickFunnels, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna hit settings up here in the top right corner and you're just gonna paste this tracking code. That's what they gave you here, okay? This is a tracking code. You copy it and you're gonna paste it in here. Now I'm not gonna do it because I actually think I already have this tracking code in here. I have a bunch of codes. Yep, I think it's this one. Okay, uh, let me just let me just go ahead and do it anyway because I don't want to be wrong. Okay, <laughs> I think it is that one, but I don't I don't want to screw this up. So let me just paste it again. I'm pretty sure this is the same one. Okay, don't quote me on that. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and hit save. And if I broke everything, oh well, I broke it. I'll go ahead and uh, have somebody on my team fix it later. All right, so, <laughs> so that being said, that's all That's all good and copied and pasted, manage cookies, blah, 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 everything else looks good. I like to enable this automatic advanced matching. What that does is it gives you even more data, even more detail from the leads that are coming into your funnel, okay? And we're gonna hit next. I'm gonna show you how super, super easy this is. All right, now, URL events. Let's start here. I'm gonna enter a URL, okay? Uh, let's do event type. So what this does is it actually tells TikTok, now that you have your funnel installed and everything, it tells TikTok, when someone visits my page, what is that event called? It's gonna be important later when you start running your ads, okay? Just bear with me here. We're gonna call that view content. Okay, if you think about it, if someone just clicked your link and they landed on your very first page inside your funnel, the first thing that they did was they viewed your, your content. They looked at the first page in your funnel. So we're gonna call that view content. And just for the sake of this, I'm going to copy and paste this, uh, where is it at here? I'm gonna copy and paste this link, okay? Just so now TikTok knows when someone clicks this link and lands on this page, I call that view content, okay? Uh, let's see here. Not complete setup. Enter your Okay, so that should be good now. I'm pretty sure that's good. I don't think there's anything else we have to do there. Statistic type. I like once. What I, I'm pretty sure this works just like YouTube ads where I don't wanna count every because that means if the exact same leads uh, lead lands on that page over and over and over and over again, the same person, it counts that as multiple view content. Okay, does that make sense? It counts as multiple times that someone has viewed the content. I don't like that and I don't want that. If, if one person keeps seeing the same page over and over, I want that to count as one. I want that one person to always count as one. It's the same person every single time. So I don't want these like uh, uh, phantom like inflated numbers in my ads. I want actual real raw numbers. If the same person keeps looking at my you know, page, I want that to count as one person, not 50 people, okay? So I'm gonna put once here. And next, I'm going to add web elements. 
pretty sure. Yep. Okay. So as you can see, the first one has been added and we're going to add another one. I'm going to do add elements and I'm going to paste this link in here again. And you'll notice this is kind of neat here. You click this and it brings up like, like this weird, like makeshift version of your link, right? It actually brings up, or sorry, not your link, your page, and it actually shows you what it looks like. It's pretty cool. All right, so next thing I want to do is I want to track a lead. So for me, a lead would be somebody who clicks this link right here. Because as you can see, they clicked the first link, the pop-up popped up, right? This is where you put your name and your email and your phone number and everything to get to the next page inside of my funnel. Chances are, if you're an affiliate marketer, your funnel looks similar to this, right? You collect someone's email, and then they go to another page where you have some content, maybe a video or a free bonus, a giveaway, a PDF or something, right? So for me, I want to be able to track leads. And that's really, really, really important for you as an affiliate. Your campaign should be all about collecting leads. And trust me when I say leads on TikTok ads right now are stupid, stupid, ridiculously cheap. Okay, don't pass this up. I'm getting leads for about $2 right now, which is unheard of anywhere on the internet. It's crazy, okay? So for me, I would like uh, element selection. I believe it's click this button here, okay? And anyone who clicks on this button here, I want that to be considered, uh, where is it at here? It may be contact, or no, I like this, submit form. Okay, so for me, someone clicks on this button, to me that's click, or to me that's submit form. Okay, so let's see, select, clicked element, click on element, already did that, and that's it. I can pretty much get rid of this. Is there any other advanced settings? I also want this to be once, okay, complete setup. Okay, now there's more you could have done there. If you're an affiliate, you probably just have the typical two-step uh, funnel. Uh, you can bring up the next page and say, hey, when someone gets to this page here, maybe they watch your video or you download your ebook. You know, there's usually a two-step funnel if you're an affiliate. So you can put on that page like view content again or um, someone completed um, a form or something. You want, you want to be able to track that. So that's it. That's it as far as that. It's active as you can see. It's all working properly. Page view, view content, and waiting for first event. It says here last received because nobody's gone through it yet since I've just made it. But yeah, it's very, very, very simple as you can see. So the pixels already set up. When I tried to set up Facebook pixels a while ago, it was super confusing. TikTok made it super, super easy to set up your pixel. Even a beginner could figure that one out. All that means is now our tracking is in place. We're able to run ads effectively, efficiently, that sort of thing, okay? Now, let's go to campaigns and we're ready to start running ads. Now, assuming you have your funnel already set up, you have the affiliate offer already set up and everything else, now it's just about creating the campaign, okay? So what does a campaign look like? Let's go create the campaign. Again, TikTok campaigns are super, super, super easy. For me, I don't care about any of these other things. I want conversions. And yes, someone submitting a form on your affiliate campaign, your affiliate uh, funnel, does count as a conversion. So just go straight for conversions. For you as an affiliate, you're saying, I want as many leads as possible. That's what you're telling TikTok. Okay, easy stuff. We're gonna go promotion type website. You're gonna go TikTok pixel and pick the pixel that you actually set up. Optimization event, I'm gonna go submit form. So that means when somebody goes ahead and, and puts in their name and email and phone number in that form and they click the button and they give me their information, that is what I'm looking for. When you tell TikTok exactly what you're looking for and they start to get some of those results for you, the ad actually picks up steam. It learns, it's a learning machine. The more people that submit that form, the more people that go through your funnel, the more your TikTok ads become better, faster, more efficient, finding the right people. So don't be so quick to turn off your ad account too soon. What I would recommend is to start with about $5 a day, but don't turn it off too soon, okay? If you have a bigger budget, go $25 a day, that works just fine. But if you're on a low budget, $5 a day is fine, just make sure you don't turn it off. If you don't see immediate results, just remember, it's still learning. 
it's still figuring out who are those people who are opting in who are those people who are clicking on your form and putting in their details and going to the next step so just let it learn leave it on for two weeks or three weeks and just let it go okay trust me when i tell you that data initially that data that you're getting from the leads you're bringing in uh, and your ads are starting to work that data is going to help you scale super fast later on so don't freak out if it's not working right away just relax let it do its thing it's super super smart it's way smarter than you or i okay uh, so just let it do its thing now submit form is what i want TikTok, insta page i have no idea what that is for me automatic placements is just fine TikTok so far seems to be so freaking smart they know exactly where my best leads are let them figure it out okay let them do their thing automated creative creative optimization i personally don't do that but you can if you have multiple types of ads okay you can upload as many ads as you want in here and let it optimize meaning let it figure out which ad is working the best and when and it'll just split up your budget uh, depending on what's working it, it can figure that out too personally I like more control so I like to just not put this on and leave it alone okay select targeting mode I'd like to put again automatic targeting believe it or not <laughs> this thing seems to learn and adapt so so well I don't like to like mess with anything and do everything hands-on and manually I just like to leave it alone and do everything automatically for me I like United States the best you might have an offer that's in Spanish Maybe it's a Spanish speaking country. You might have an offer where you can expand the audience a bit more. Maybe Canada, Australia, some of the tier one countries, you name it. You figure out what you think uh, some of the best target countries for your offer is. Okay, now we have budget and schedule. Again, this is up to you. I like to do like $25 a day. You can do more, you can do less if you're on a budget. As the lowest I would go is about $5, but just make sure you don't turn it off because you might freak out okay it's not gonna work right away you just need to let it let it do its thing for a while okay you gotta remember you're on a low budget so just you know be calm stay calm and let it ride okay uh, day parting I I think that that means when you want your ads to show up I just leave it on all day I've never heard it called day parting optimization goals conversion correct cost cap I don't do that I just do lowest cost and then you hit next so that part is done and now it's going to go into the actual ad okay now i have some ads here and unfortunately i don't think i've uploaded them quite yet let me see i might have them uploaded bear with me i might have them okay this is my google drive let's see tiktok ads i think i have them up or okay cool so oh no that's not even it where the hell are they examples Okay, so these aren't mine. So those, the other page that was my ads, but they're not done being edited yet. I have a team that edits them. Um, but here's some examples of some TikTok ads that work really well. I don't know if you guys can hear this. High ticket business owners who want to cut their client acquisition cost in half. This is my offer to you. My team and I will come into your business. All right, we don't have to watch that whole thing, but you can see it's pretty simple, right? It's just your typical hook story offer. If any of you are familiar with this setup, Okay, all ads and almost all content even organically on the internet, whether you're doing affiliate marketing or you're marketing for your own products and services, doesn't matter. Have the same structure, hook, story, offer. If you watch the beginning of that ad, what was he doing? Hooking me in. That's what he was doing. He said, high ticket affiliate mar or high ticket uh, business owners. That's me, right? So immediately I said, what do you have to offer? I'm listening. No matter what kind of offer you have, you want to make sure you capture your audience right away. You capture those people and you just like, you know, tell them, hey, is this you? I have something for you. And then you break down what you have, click on the link down below or swipe left and go check it out. And that's it. It's super simple. Don't don't think you have to be like over the top, the best editing in the world. And all. I did because I can. But but honestly, I've lo uploaded videos where I'm just like walking my dog and and talking. You don't have to be all crazy about it all over the top. It works extremely well. Again, TikTok ads are so cheap, you don't have to hit it out of the park. Now, with that being said, one last recommendation. Yes, TikTok ads are super, super cheap. And yes, regardless of what affiliate offer you're trying to promote and get commissions from using your funnel, it's probably going to work, okay? You're probably going to make profit from it. But what makes the most profit right now with TikTok ads 
is a high ticket affiliate marketing offer. If you have something that pays you thousands of dollars every single time you make a sale, then you can literally spend like a hundred bucks to make a thousand. You can 10x your return from TikTok ads. And we have clients inside of the affiliate franchise who are doing that right now. So if you want your funnel set up for you, if you want your ad account set up for you, and then you just place your budget and watch it work for you while we come in and we go ahead and sell, we create the ad creators for you, we do everything for you, then click down in the link below to apply for the affiliate franchise and we'll have this all set up for you so you can make high ticket commissions every single day, every single week, and you're just off doing whatever. You can quit your job in record time. People are doing it left and right. Please don't live in the 19th century and stuff. That stuff is over, okay? Just get rid of the industrial age thinking. This is the digital age. Everything can be a hell of a lot easier. Click down the link below and let's schedule a call with my team so we can you know, come up with a game plan for you to get out of your situation. I'm the infamous Joel and I'm out.